So why are we all here? Uh, in June, before we had any inclination about who might be the next president, uh, we, Jack, attended a dialogue that we had at uh, Queens College and with the Queens Law School. And we spoke about the likelihood, according to, at the time, Robert Kennedy Jr., of green technology and the environment being the likely new manifesto of our next president. Well, here we are today, this week, on this day, right? The new president has said that we're going to foster the earth, the wind, the sun, and we're going to create new green technology. Uh, and that green business practices are going to be the foundations of the new stimulus. Um, but what Jack and Al have done here in Queens today, and we're proud to have helped them do this, is they've begun a groundswell to engage local businesses on what, what it means to have an emerging green economy. You can't just talk about it. We've got to walk the talk and be the change. And that starts here and now in Queens. And in fact, Jack and Al have a lot to be proud of. We're doing 50 of these summits around the country from Queens to Harlem, to Lower East Side, to Chinatown, to Chinatown in San Francisco, in Boston. We're redefining what we mean by an inclusive dialogue. But why are you all here? You're here to gain information on attainable and measurable business practices. And there are experts right here in this room who can help you measure how to deploy whatever they're helping you engage in. Uh, and they're going to give you products. And so we have great experts and innovators right here in New York, like Green Depot, about to open a local green supply chain store in Soho. And they also have products that can change your lives and the health and environment of your home and business. Um, and you should definitely engage them. And there are all kinds of folks in this room, from a person who can green your roof and tell you what the carbon reduction impact of that is. And now what's already happened? What's already happened here in Queens? I went to speak at an artisan bakery sponsored by the SBDC of Long Island City here in Queens. I gave a commencement address there two months ago. And there were 50 vendors going into the food and beverage business. Guess how many were organic bakers here in Queens? 50 new, new companies and four are actually organic bakers in Queens. In the emerging green economy and in economic challenges today, those four bakers should not race one another to have the best logo and the best story. They can aggregate their resources, mitigate their risk, pool their efforts, and have a cooperative effort to buy locally and be the organic bakers of Queens and likely succeed. So if you're here to network, do so knowing that we've already cultivated four or five new businesses here in Queens that are here to engage the green economy. Notice that at lunch, you're going to see numerous leaders from the city and state who are here because they want to hear what we business owners need in an emerging green economy. You can't just talk about green jobs, you have to engage it. Last reason you're here, there were, 50, there were 79 million baby boomers. Everybody said, they're such a big group. You better speak to their tastes and inclinations. Anybody know how many people make up the group called Generation Y? The group that are in this college right now? 100 million. They make the baby boomers look small. And we need to learn what they care about. It's not the war in Iraq. It's not the economy. It's not even getting a job. In national polls, those, in, those indications are less than 20%. But 85% and up of seniors in high school and freshmen in college, if you ask them what your top three priorities are, 85% say the environment and the air they breathe. And they take ownership of that decision. The senator is right. And I see the Queens College president here, and he should be commended for hosting this event. Because if you businesses want to succeed, you better start to speak to Generation Y. And how do they speak? They speak on their cell phones with Twitter and MySpace, and they engage in a dialogue that's close to their hearts. That's what starts here today. And for that, our, our new president figured it out. We businesses have to do that as well. So thank you. Enjoy today. Thank you.